So setting copper rivets, got a th few things to consider. We've got our post lengths, we've got our base diameter, we've got our burr. So we sell a three-part copper rivet setter. The first part pushes the burr down the post. The second part peens over the sharp tip once it's been cut. The third part's optional. We'll get into that. So to start, punch your leather. So where are you going to use the half inch post with a number 12 copper rivet? So that's plenty coming through. You need enough to clip off and also to push the burr down. So the first part, I'm going to put your burr on top. I'm going to take tool number one, place it on top. You want to hit it. You don't have to hit it too hard. You just want to move the burr all the way down to the leather, just like that. Next, take your clippers. And we're going to cut the post off. Now, a little trick is we cut about halfway through on the first, not all the way through, rotate 90 degrees and finish cutting through. That's going to give you more of a tip point, not a long, straight, diagonal, sharp cut. So the next is we're going to take tool number two. And this part is just dome. So what this is going to do is we're going to hammer around to make that tip not so sharp. And go right on top. Another little trick is we move around in a, a circular motion. And that's going to keep the burr on and remove the sharpness from the top. So the third part is optional. So what this is used for is for the backside. So right now the backside is flat. What you can do is you can dome this backside to give it a little character. Now, most people don't do it, but if you pre prefer to, it's your choice. So as you can see, nice dome cap. And that's setting the copper rivet. 